Hello everyone, welcome to lab 3.1.5.5 from the Big Data and Analytics course from Cisco and this lab is about correlation analysis in Python. Okay, so in the background actually in this lab you we are going to uh, use Python to calculate correlation. So in, in part one we will set up a data set, then we will uh, learn how to identify if the variables are in the given data set are correlated, correlatable. And in the last part, we will use Python to calculate the uh, correlation between two sets of variables. Okay, so the data set that we are going to work with, it's uh, like uh, taken or contains a sample of 40 right hand uh, um, like Anglo and introductory psychology students at a large Southwestern University. However, this is not interesting. So what is interesting actually the data set itself. So the researchers here used uh, magnetic uh, re resonance imaging, so MRI, to determine the brain size of the subject. So all we have information about gender and body size by the height and the weight you will see in the data set <clears throat> and also the researcher uh, withheld the weight of two subjects and the height of one subject for reason of confidentiality over two simple modifications were applied and the data set um, first we re they replaced the question marks with the represented the uh, withheld data point however with none so all question marks uh, replaced with none and uh, all the top characters replaced with, with a comma and then to have CSV format. Okay, so the file name is brainsize.txt brain so let's check the file if it's there. So this is the file here and there this path and there's Raspberry Pi. Alright, so let's start first and uh, load the data and you, I think you already know now how to load data, use pandas and you convert the pandas into data frame. So import pandas and then we import the data and then we change the data into CSV format. Now we have a brain frame is a data frame. Okay, now we make sure that the data um, was imported imported in a correct way. Here we have the head, so to uh, show the first five rows of this uh, data set. And here we have female, male, as you can see in the gender. Here we have the Q or IQ test. Here we have the head, the weight and the height and their MRI count. Where this is the count, this is the size of the brain. All right, so one more time, we have the gender, we have the three uh, types of sets for intelligence and then we have the weight and the height of the body and then the brain size This is the last one here uh, Then we part two we use uh, uh, scatter plot graphs and co correlatable variables Okay, so already we covered this uh, method before described in pandas So it's a good practice to check like more information about the data set um, that we are working with so also to review it's mentioned here pandas model describe uh, method which performs same, uh, same common calculation against a, a given data set so the mean average maximum minimum and so on and you can apply it on the data frame itself so the data frame dot and then describe method so here we have account here we have the mean std and then minimum 25 and we explained or we saw this in the previous video as well okay so one more time like uh, how to generate like what about the scatterplot graph uh, scatterplot gra graphs are important when working with a correlation so when we have a correlations then we have to know that we have to work with scatterplot more or less and uh, because it's a quick visual uh, verification of the nature of the relationship between the variables. Okay, then uh, this lab uses a uh, uh, version a correlation coefficient. However, now we are working with Python, so it doesn't matter what type of coefficient we are uh, working on, but in this lab, this one is used. 
and which is sensitive only to a linear relationship between two variables. So you like two variables we have and then we can calculate the relationship between them or the correlation. One more robust correlation methods exist but okay so you can see here uh, other more that not only there but this is out of the scope. However, let's now load the required models to generate the scatter plot. Here we have NumPy as MP and then we have Matroplot as uh, Matplotlib as uh, PLT and next step is to separate the data. Here as you already saw that we have men and female, oh sorry, fe uh, female and male. So now we are going to generate two data frames from the original one. The first data frame for men and the second one for women. And the brain from this, the brain frame that we already uh, imported, we refer to the first column or the column called gender and we put in it only male. So the here we will have all the data frame or like a data frame for male and the second one for female. So to make sure we can use, for example, a type of men. So to check if it's uh, like data frame run it again and here it says that main df is not defined yes because f here is a small letter not a capital letter now it's that's it's a data frame the same for women we have both data frame and now from women data frame let's see the head where first five rows and here we can see all of, of them are uh, female. Okay, now we are going to plot the graph and uh, here, like because the data set includes three different uh, measures for intelligence, so the first one PIQ, the second one FSIQ and the third one is VIQ. So the first line here in this code is like to calculate the mean of three of them and then we are going to plot the uh, scatter, but the, here we have the value for each of them. So the three of them, we have the value and then we uh, are going to put the value and then we count this one here. So what we will have actually, we will have a value here, which is the mean for the three intelligence um, um, measurements. This is the value, this is for uh, the x-axis and the for y-axis we put the uh, MRI count which is the brain size and then we plot the show the sh like plot we show the plot and in this not book so this is in line uh, by the way here let's first generate the figure so this is the figure here and let's for example here try to print for men let's try to know what is the type of this object here Okay, let's try to do this. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a float and now let's try to type here this one. And it's also again, it's a series. So it's not a data frame, it's a series. Uh, that's why we could see that the series. And if you want to change it to series, you know how to do this. Actually, you can use the method to frame. However, measurement, so for each value, so this is the, it's going to be the x-axis and the y-axis is going to be the uh, MRI queue from the data set itself. However, now let's highlight comment out this and generate the figure again and here is the figure so the first one the first one um, like the x-axis here is going to be and the y-axis is the one from here okay for the same way we are going to use the uh, the one for 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 female so again we can take this 
and here instead of male we can use female or it was men and then we have the second one women df okay and this one is going to be here and the second one is going to be a mark mr count but for of course for women okay so now we have this uh, series objects and then we calculate the mean for each of them and then we print the output and here is the figure here and this is a scatter now this is a scatter figure and now we let's calculate the correlation or let's learn how to calculate the correlation actually there is a, a method called cor c-o-r-r method is written in this way and this method uh, like um, you can give um, an, a parameter the name of the method you use for calculating the correlation as i mentioned in the beginning in this lab this y is using and then we specify to the dead frame so we have here and here we have the correlated uh, table okay notice here that uh, left to right diagonal uh, in the correlation between generated above y is all like with one so this is the diagonal and as you can see here it's one so why it's one is it by uh, coincidence no it's not by chance because here when you make a correlation between the number with itself then the output is one so when you make correlation between one and one so the correlation value is the same one or when you make correlation between 1000 and 1000 then the correlation value is one so 100 percent they are uh, close to each other okay the second question why is here the same because this is a, like the algorithm that's using the correlation and this also mentioned here uh, so it's looking at the correlation above notice that the value are mirrored so if you see this is one is the same this one is the same and so on so y is uh, uh, mirrored so also this is the algorithm that is we are using however we are dealing with python focus we are focusing uh, we are focusing on python here with the same way we calculate the correlation for the uh, second uh, data frame which is women data frame and here are the same uh, can be done for the men only so we can take this as well and then we put it here and then, then we find men and this is the way here is that table there and now let's move to the last part which is the visualizing here we need to uh, to visualize like the table of correlation then we you need to use a new model in python called cborn which is easy to plot a heat map a graph by the way if you would like to generate a graph about the correlation then you have to use a heat map this is the type of the graph and to draw the type of a graph matplot is not used anymore then you have to use the cborn and this is a model you need to install it first and uh, the Raspberry Pi or in your own machine so it's installing right now and as you can see requirement already satisfied is already installed and then, so in this device and next we plot the correlation uh, heat map uh, first of all we uh, have the to find the correlation and then we put it in a variable and then we use SNS because we imported Seaborn as SNS and then we specify the heat map here and then we give the parameter that the correlation we have just generated so let's generate the figure this is the figure here and by the way let's try to find what is the type of this WCORR then we don't need this one and as you can see here the type is again is a bandas data frame and since it's bandas data frame let's try to find the head and here we have the head of the data that we are going to the, draw the correlation between them and let's generate the figures and uh, the figure sorry and here we have the figure and this is also 
in the same way we can generate the figure for the men or female here sorry for the men here we have again uh, we import like uh, um, uh, core and then we have to use here anchor this is not needed and then let's run this one then we have the figure here and many variables there present correlation close to zero so what does that mean so here like it means that uh, the the weight or the size of the body uh, does not uh, like uh, it does ha does not have any relation with the level of intelligence uh, so again here uh, why uh, separate the genders because the size of the bodies might be different or might be affect uh, or might be affect the results and what variable have stronger correlation to the brain size uh, is that expected so the brain size correlated or directly with the size of the body so if you uh, someone uh, has a big body then his brain is also big so that's all for this video and i will see you in the next video